All right, so we are going to play around with a few products. First, I got to put on some kind of like, this is like a lip oil. I can't find my, where is it? It's, I have like a color pop. Oh, it's, wait a minute, it's right here. Let me put this on instead of this. This right here by ColourPop, the So Juicy, um, I love it. I really do. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about a few things that happened to me this weekend. And I'm like, you know what? I got to put my makeup on because my Ipsy Plus and my Ipsy bag came. So I have a main channel called Just Dan. And I do like beauty unboxings, like subscription boxes and different things over there. So I have to do my makeup. I'm like, why not? So Ofra sent me um, their newer collection. It's the Lotus collection. So this is what it looks like in case you don't know. So this is the eyeshadow palette. I haven't swatched it or anything. So I want to play around with that today. So they sent me the whole collection with the powders and like highlighters and stuff. So we'll play around with that. And then Merit Beauty sent me some things, about six or seven different items. And it came in this cute little bag. I thought it was so cute. So I figured why not, you know, just play around with some makeup. And then I can talk to you and tell you what has been going on with my health and different things. All right. So let me look at this. All right. I don't see any like um, anything to set my face because this is more like yellowy so I always go in with this Jason Wu palette we got this in the AIA and you guys can see I use the heck out of it especially this shade right here and then the dark brown but this has like a white this is like a setting powder and I use that to set my eyes lately so let's do that I um have the uh, Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas on Eye Primer. You only need very little, and I love it. I tell you guys all the time, just in case you're new, I don't use the eye primer to, like, boost the color with my eyeshadow. So, you know, usually when you do that, you put the eye primer on, and then you don't set it. But I use the Clean Canvas because I am 45, and I'm starting to get, like, those, like, wrinkles like in my eyelids and stuff so when I put that on it kind of like puts like um like a clean canvas what it says it makes everything so smooth like you know and then um I set it of course also if like if you have any like veins I don't have any veins in my eyelids but if you do you can use that to cover them up as well it really really works really well uh so that's why I set it because, like I said, I only use it to get that, like, clean base, you know? I got to get something to put this mirror up a little bit. So, let me figure something out. I found this book when I was going through some of the things to see what could be saved from the house fire. And it's called Show Business by Thyra Winslow. And this book was in, I think, in 1927. She, somebody signed it. And what year? You can see like it's all like yellow and stuff. 1926. Almost 100 years old. So I'm going to use that. I found two books. One was from the 23 and this was 26. All right. I'm going to go in with this orangey shade very, very lightly as a transition shade. Wow, that is really pigmented. And I went in very light-handed. I do have a code with Ofra now. It's just in and all caps. That's usually what all my codes are. Um, that can save you some money off. And that is an affiliate link, just to let you know. So I do make a little commission if you use that code. Um, I mean, you don't have to. I'm just letting you know because you guys know I like to be honest with you guys. But having said that, I'm still going to be honest what I think about these products. You guys know that, you know? I love Ofra for their highlighters and stuff. I really haven't tried a lot of their eyeshadows. So when they sent me this, I was like, you know what? Let me try the formula and see how it is, you know? Because when I think of Ofra, I think of the highlighters. You know what I mean? All 
All right, I like that. So let me tell you what happened to me this weekend. Today's Monday when I'm filming. It's about three, almost four o'clock in the afternoon. So it was, I want to say Thursday night, maybe, when I... I got these new jelly beans. For, they're Dunkin' Donuts. And so they're all like coffee flavored and stuff. <laughs> I've seen them at the store and I got them. I'm like, oh, I love Dunkin' Donuts and I love their coffee. So let me get it and try it. And it, oh my God, they were so good. So good that I ate almost half the bag. Not all in one sitting, but here and there. I'm just going to go in with that shade again, just with a smaller brush and kind of like deepen it up. Anywho, so... I know, if you don't know, I am diabetic. I've been diabetic since the age of 18. And I have not taken care of myself. That's the truth, you know? Like, there have been many years I didn't even go taking medicine or anything like that, you know? And because of that, that caused a lot of my health issues. Like, heart, I mean, uh, I have cardiovascular disease. I have heart failure. Just different things um, because I didn't take care of myself. I know when my sugar goes up, a lot is when I'm peeing all the time. Like every every five minutes, like I'm literally have to pee. But when I know it's like probably over the 300, I start getting these stomach cramps, like on the top of my stomach, you know? And then I know, okay, and it goes like to my belly button. It's the weirdest thing. But you know how your body is, right? And so I knew, I'm like, okay, let me check my sugar because let's be real. If you follow me on this channel, my journey, I don't always do what I'm supposed to do. This is why I'm in the predicament that I'm in. So I go and I check it and it read 363. <laughs> so it was almost... 400 okay so I immediately take my insulin immediately like I don't even play around you know and I was remember telling my husband I was like oh my god my sugar is almost 400 and I because I showed him this is that brush I always talk about it's a um crown brush it's like a beef oval 40 um, and I always use it because it just helps me blend. Even if, so if you have one of those lines or it's hard to blend, this brush is soft, but it's also very dense. And the, just the shape of it, you know, because it's like long, you know, it, you know, like it helps you. But even if there's an eyeshadow formula, even like a Natasha Denona, I just have a habit because I'm very lazy and it helps with blending so much that it takes the time away. So if you ever see me using this, it's not because maybe the eyeshadow is not working because right now it works really, really pretty. I wish this color was more orangey. It's more like an orangey brown. Um, so I'm going to go in with that Jason Wu and um, use this orangey shade to kind of make it a little bit, just for the color a little bit. Anyway, so like I said, I immediately, um, oh yeah, that's better. I immediately take my, my insulin and maybe about an hour and a half later, I checked my sugar again. This time I recorded it so that I have it for the doctor and it went down to 300. So it went down over 60 point, you know, um, with about an hour and a half. If I still have the video, I'll show it to you right here. Let's see if it went down since I took my insulin. Oh, it went down a little bit. It's 300 now. It went down a little bit. And um, so it was it was starting to lower. Um, then I took more insulin. I didn't call my doctor or anything like this. I've been dealing with this for a long time. I already know what they're going to say, right? So then I just took a little bit more. Um, I didn't want to take a lot because I didn't want it to bring my sugar down very fast. And then it shocks my body. And then I'm really, my, you know, messed up my, you know. So when I got up in the morning, went down to 273. See, the problem that I'm having is the insulin, even though they changed my insulin different things, and then they even put me on a pill with the insulin, I just can't break it under 200. Even if I don't eat anything all day and just drink water, water, water. I, you know, like, we're just figuring it out, you know? So that was that. And I start feeling better in the morning, you know, but my body was still like nauseous and different things because... Just It just shocks your body. You know what I'm saying? Now, so then in the afternoon, uh, I don't know, about 1, 2 in the afternoon, this was Saturday because that's right, a couple days later. Because it happened Thursday night and then Friday I just laid around all day. And Saturday I got up 
and I, what, like I said, and my husband was away on business. He left Friday night. Um, I just wasn't feeling, I, I was feeling better. I'm sorry. And I started vacuuming and I started shampooing the rugs, like just the one area, the dining room. For, and then I started where my chest. Now, if you guys have been watching me in one of my car vlogs, I told you that every two hours I have to take my blood pressure and the machine that I have goes directly to my doctor. And then depending on what it says, they, they'll text me, you know because my pulse and my blood pressure um, is not being controlled either. And I'm on two different medications and now they just put me on a beta blocker. And then I had, I would just recently had some tests done because he was scared that, because we have three floors here, right? And every time I go up the steps, especially the third floor, which is where my room is, I'm like out of breath, like I'm gasping for air and like my chest hurts and stuff. And sometimes I would feel it like in my shoulder, my left shoulder and stuff. So he was worried that maybe there wasn't getting a lot of blood flow and do I need stents or anything like that because of my family history as well as my medical history. My mom was 44 with her first open heart surgery from a heart attack, you know? Like I said, I just, I, I, I wasn't feeling good and like I said, all I did was vacuum and I shampooed just the the one room, you know, and my chest hurt so bad. Like, and I was like gasping, literally gasping for air, like, <sighs> and usually when that happens within maybe 10 minutes, if I sit down, I'm fine, you know? So I said, you know what? Let me check my blood pressure. And my blood pressure was a little high, but not bad, not compared to what it usually is. But my pulse was 129. I'll put a picture right here because I took a picture. That way, like I said, I was trying to document because I was scared, you know. So when my when I ever get bad chest pains, this is when I take this heart medication the doctor gave me, gives me, you know, to take it when I have heart chest pains and stuff. So I took that. And about an hour later, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. But, you know, I was... When, when my blood pressure was 129, the reason why I also took my blood pressure, because immediately I felt that indigestion, like... um Re acid reflex it was so bad it was burning I could feel it going up to my mouth I was nauseous when I went to throw up and I'm thinking oh my god am I having a heart attack like I literally thought I was gonna die like I that it really really scared me and I don't get scared that much you know all right as I'm talking I'm gonna go in with this burgundy color here and um that's when I text my husband because I don't usually text him when he's away on business. Um, he was still in New Jersey, but I usually don't, you know, text him or anything like that unless it's really important, you know. And I was scared and I showed him the picture and he was like, wow. Um, but I told him, I was like, well, I took my, uh, he was like, did you take any baby aspirin? Because I'm supposed to take that every day. And I'm like, well, no, I took these two heart pills. Um and I didn't want to take anything else and put too much. So like about, like I'm saying, so like an hour later, I checked my blood pressure again. And my blood pressure was very, like, it was probably normal, but low for me. Uh, because I took the heart pills. But my pulse went down to 108, which is a lot better than 129. But it's still a little high, you know. And I'm still feeling that indigestion. I want to throw up. Now my legs are going numb. So I look up signs of a woman heart, having a heart attack, early signs, and they were all the signs. And so I tell my husband everything because like I said, I'm scared. Like, you know, I'm not, I didn't call the doctor because I know he's going to say, go to the hospital. Well, I didn't have a car there because I share a car with my daughter. My daughter was at work. My husband was away on business and, you know, my son was at home. So it's like, I didn't want to call the ambulance. I don't know. Stupid. I, I, I don't know why I get like this. I just hate hospitals. I really, really do. And uh, this is a pretty color too. And um, maybe an hour after that, I hear somebody coming in. I'm like, who the heck is that? It's my husband. He was that worried that he left. And he never does that. And he comes home. He's trying to tell me to take all this medicine. I'm like, well, I'm scared because I already took these heart pills. I don't want to put too much in it. But he's like, take it. So I'm like, all right. And um, maybe a couple hours after that, I, I can tell I was feeling better. I was still a little nauseous. The indigestion went away. But even the next morning, so Sunday, now we're going into Sunday, like my legs were still a little numb when I woke up, but I did feel a lot better, you know. Um, so that those heart pills do work. 
My husband was like, do you want to go to the hospital? And he knows me. I won't go. I'm like, no. And if I call the doctor, the doctor's going to say, go to the hospital. Um, but I almost went because I was really, really scared. And this is what I'm saying. I don't take care of myself. I should have went to the hospital and figured out what was going on. I know that. But I, I'm scared. That's the problem. I'm scared of finding something out. Because every time I would go to the doctors before, they would always tell me, this is when I was in my 30s, they would say, you need to take better care of yourself because you're not going to make it to your 40. You're not going to make it. You're at the verge of having a stroke. You're going to have like, then when I went to the heart doctor, I took you guys along with me. You know, he was telling me, you need to take better care of yourself because if you do have a heart attack, you're not even going to make it to the helicopter. You're not going to make it. And so it scares me, you know, and I'm glad the doctors tell me that, but I'm the type then it's like, I don't want to know because then I'm too scared to find out, you know, and it's, it's very, very stupid. I know that. Read me the filth in the comments. I know that. So then last night I start feeling a little bit better and I always cook and I filmed, actually I filmed it as I was cooking. And, um, if you haven't watched it, it's how I make my fried chicken and stuff. I'll leave the video down below because I didn't put it up to about 930. Um, because like I said, I filmed it that day and then edited it and put it up. And then a couple clips that I had, it was really weird that they wouldn't let me like play it. It was weird. So like I go from mixing my seasonings to all of a sudden <laughs> the chickens in the, if, the frying pan, you know, and I, in the one clip, like I was talking about why I use the seasonings about the, the, it was the emerald frying pan my mom got for me like over 20 years ago that I still use and love it and never get rid of it. That's the only pan I fry my chicken in. And like, I'm showing you like the flour, shaking the flour off, putting it in, you know? So that whole clip is gone. So it went from that to that, you know? So I think it was like only like seven minutes or something like that, the video. But if you have watched it, let me know down below, like what other stuff that I could do to improve. It's the first time really that I did a cooking video and I wanna add more of that to this channel. And I'm also thinking like when I do my car vlogs, when I go to the grocery store, you know, and then I buy the stuff and then you'll see me like cooking it and different things. So it's not, just not a cooking video. And then there'll be some times that I do a short 10 minute cooking video, you know, and that's all that it will be. So I'm definitely going to try different things, but let me know what you would like to see on this channel. Let me know. So I have a doctor's appointment the last day of the, I think the 30th I go. Me and my husband go. So I'll tell the doctor then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, What's been going on. And I'm definitely going to get my... I, I have an appointment next month for the pulmonary doctor. Because I really think it's my lungs too. I really truly do. I know it's my heart. But I do think I have something going on with my lungs. So, you know, all that. Like, I'm finally now... That's what I wanted to do this year. Why I created this channel. Because if you go back to my earlier videos. I take you to the doctors with me. And you heard what the doctor said. And I was really working on my health. And then, you know, I've always suffered from depression. And I get depressed. And then I just don't go back to the doctors. I don't get my test. That's the story of my life. And this is why I always say... My health is because of me. It's because what I do to my body. And that's this weekend scared me so bad that I gave all my sweets and everything to my kids, to my husband. And I mean it. And look, I have been drinking nothing but water. I'm going to try to stay away from my soda, my Pepsi. Listen, I can't do a cold turkey, but I'm going to try my hardest. Even if I just have like a sip. You know, and then that's it. But all weekend, I haven't had soda, nothing. Like, I've been re doing really, really well because I don't want to happen to me like what happened to my mom. You know, like, my mom, I was very angry with my mother because a lot of the issues she had, yes, was due to health, but she could have took medicine and fixed herself before it got too late. But she was so depressed and she just wanted to go. That's what she always said that she's ready to go. And so it hurt me because she didn't fight and she didn't take care of herself. And that's exactly what I'm doing with my kids. You know, like right now, at least I was in the, my forties, my mom was able to see my grandkids and I helped raise them. Like I don't have any grandkids and I, if something happened to me right now, like my youngest is still only 17, like my kids, even though my oldest is 26 and my daughter will be 22 in a few months, my son will be 18 in a few months in July, they still need me. 
you know, and I want to be here. I want to meet my grandkids and I want to be here. And I don't want them to feel that hurt and be angry like I was with my mother. Do you know what I mean? And then my mom got to the point where she was so sick. She just, there was really basically nothing they could do, you know, but, um, so sometimes you have to hit rock bottom or sometimes you're in denial. You know, when you're 18, I know I'm not really doing my makeup. I promise I'll get started in doing it, but I really want to, um, share this. When I was 18 and the doctor told me I was diabetic, this is when I was pregnant. I had gestational diabetes. Yeah, I took care of myself and took the insulin and stuff. Why? <laughs> because I was pregnant. It was about my baby. Then after that, like it went away. So I'm like, okay. Then when I got pregnant with my daughter at 23, it came back and then it stayed. But you can't, well, after I had my son, it was like borderline, you know, but I really didn't need to be medicated, you know. But with my daughter, but you can't tell, like for me, it was like, I didn't want to hear it because I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel bad. So if my sugar was 300 or 200 or whatever, I didn't feel different. It's just I peed, I had to pee a lot. And so when I would take the medicine, it's when I felt sick. So I didn't want to feel sick. So I just didn't take the medicine instead of going through the process right? But I really, I was so ignorant. I didn't realize that it could affect your heart. And I say this just in case you don't, you, you don't realize what it is. When you're diabetic, so your pancreas doesn't produce a lot of insulin, or if you're type one, your, your pancreas doesn't produce any insulin, right? Let's just say your pancreas is a door, okay? And let's say when you have to pee, right? So it goes from your kidneys to your bladder and you pee, right? Like, and there's like cells, right? And you pee it out. You pee the cells out. Well, with me, the door is closed, right? So that means what's happening is there's no, nowhere for the cells to go. It's not going down when I pee. So where do the cells go? They go up and they go to your heart. They go to your arteries and little circles, and then they connect with each other and builds and builds and builds until you have these black arteries, you get cardiovascular disease, you get all different type of things. That's why a lot of diabetics die from a heart attack or stroke or what have you, you know? Um, or, you know, then they have to do dialysis because of their kidneys, you can go blind. Diabetes, the pr problem with diabetes, once the damage is done, it's done. You cannot fix what has happened. You can help it from it to get worse. I mean, so that, that it won't get any worse, but you can't fix the damage. And that's the sad part, you know? And I'll tell you what, even though the doctor used to always tell me for many years, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I didn't believe it until what happened. This was the, I got, I really got scared. I thought I was having a heart attack. I really, really, truly did. And I thought I'm not going to make it if I have a heart attack because that's what the doctors always said lesson learned. And I wish I could have went back 20, 30 years ago and took better care of myself because the next time I may not be so lucky. Okay. Let me finish my uh, makeup really quick. Cause I know I'm talking it too, too much. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go in with this yellow color right here and use as my shimmer shade really, really quickly. blend it. Now I'm going to go in with my Jason Wu palette because they don't have like a dark brown. I'm going to use that just to deepen my eyes up. That's really, really nice. Okay. So let me blend it. And you guys know I always take like a makeup wipe and put like where my fingernail is and then I clean it up. Just like that. See the difference? And when you push it up, it makes your eyes look more lifted. That is really, really pretty. All right, I'm going to go and do my foundation and then come back and we'll use the other products. All right, it's been a minute. 
probably more than an hour. My daughter comes home from work and I'm telling you, my kids, as grown as they are, act like they can't do anything. So I had to make her a grilled cheese really quickly. And I got like a hot flash. I've just put my hair up. Anyway, the only thing I did was my foundation and I did bronzer. So we'll finish the eye look and stuff, but I wanted to show you the Ofra blush palette. I've been using this almost every day. I love this. So the highlighters and blushes, like I love. And then there's a bronzer shade. It's called Americano that I really like too. Let me know if you have tried Ofra products and what you like. Don't forget, I do have that discount code, Just Ann, just in case if you want to try their highlighters or blushes, because I'm like, you, you got to save money, you know, especially nowadays. Where is my blush brush? So I always go with this light pink and I do that in the front right here, like the apples. And then I always put it on top of my nose. That way it looks like that sunburn effect. And then I put like a little bit on my forehead, but we blend that out. Then I go on with these two shades here. I just mix them together. Sometimes the top, sometimes all four, all depends. And then I go back here and right here. And like I said, we'll, we'll blend that out. If you ever do too much blush, you can go back in with your bronzer blush, you know, and mix that up and stuff. But I want to try the new highlighter. Uh, let's see. This is the Glow Getter Show Off. What is it? Glow Getter? I'm not sure what the shade name is. Let's take her out and see. Okay, so this is called Lotus Blossom. Oh my God, would you look at that? Oh, that's just gorgeous. It's like, I don't even want to touch it. Let me do a little swatch. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, come on. What I like about these highlighters, it looks like it's kind of duochrome-y, um, is that they don't have any glitter in it, you know? I love that. All right. So I'm just going to go in very lightly because I don't know how this is going to look. Okay. So I have more of a like fluffy brush. I'm just gonna, whoa, whoa, see what I'm saying? You don't need that much. I mean, look at that. What in the world would you? Okay, alrighty then. So I take my Dampen Beauty Blender because I don't like it that beaming for me. And I, I mean, do you see the difference? And what this does is, it, then it makes your highlighter kind of like melt into your skin that it doesn't have like that streak, you know? But I'll show you a trick too. I'll go back in with that powder blush and just put a little bit on if you ever have something that's too strong. But that's, oh God, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So now let me mix, not mix, but blend my blush. Blush, I can get it out. All right, I'm going to spray my face with the Gerard um, Slay All Day Setting Spray. I mean, look how much I used. I love this. I have a code with them too. It's Just Dan in all caps. And this will save you 30% off all their products, even that um, eye primer I told you about. But I definitely recommend this. And then I take that Dampin' Beauty Blender again and just go around because any powder that you have left on your face it, when you push it in, it more it melts in your skin and you don't look cakey. Like if you can see, my face doesn't look cakey at all, you know? That's from using this. All right, so let's finish the eye look real quick. And then um, I won't be able to try a lot of the Merit Beauty. I'll do another video with that. But I can at least try the lipsticks and stuff that they sent me. So we'll do that. Before I go with my... Um, under eye, I'm going to use this Makeup Geek, what shade you be, Ultramarine. And um, I got this when she's having her 40% off. If you don't know, Makeup Geek is closing down. So I love, love, love her eyeliners. They stay on your waterline. So, so nice. So I bought like all the colors. I mean, look at that. Let me get a little close. This, I messed it up a little bit, but I'll fix that. But look at the difference. I mean, it just makes a difference. And you'll see. 
we're going to go in with that orange shade again. Go right underneath. And always make sure you connect right here so you don't have that like empty space, you know, you connect it. I'm going to go in with this shade right here and just go a little bit higher. All right, I'm going to go back in my Jason Wu palette and go with that dark brown. It's like a detail brush that I use. And I only go like not even halfway in. And always make sure you connect right there where you cleaned it up at. That's gorgeous. I cannot get over it. All right, let me do my mascara and then we'll do a close and put the lipstick on and then I'll get close up so you can see what my makeup looks like. Right, so I have my mascara done so let's see I forget what shades um they sent me let's see these are the new um collection it's like their signature um line I mean let me just show you these if I have a discount code I'll leave it down below but look at the packaging oh I mean it's just so pretty look at that all right so that's the one shade you guys know that this shade is like right up my alley. Okay, I just think it's so cute, this packaging. Here is the other shade. This is more like a brownie color. And then I got it. I got it. Oh, that's pretty. I might put this on. Oh, this is pretty. All right, let me take this like gloss off that I have from ColourPop. And I'm not going to put any lip liner on yet. I just want to see what it looks like. Boy, this is pretty. Yeah, so this is the shade Tiger. Oh, okay. They're not as pigmented as what they look, which is fine with me. Let me show you. That's what Tiger looks like. Okay. That's pretty. Let me see. This is Fashion right here. So let's... It's like a burry color. Let's see if I can deepen it up here. These are very creamy. Like I said, they're not as pigmented as what they look. And this is the shade Slip, the one that I showed you right here. Let's so this is the lightest shade here, and I would put this right in the middle. That's gorgeous, but you know me, I have to go on with the lip liner. That's just how I am. So let me go on with the lip liner, and then I'll be right back, and I'll get up close and personal, and you can see what my makeup looks like. All right, so this doesn't really match too much with my eye look, but I wanted to show you what these lipsticks were. Are they very... They feel, I mean, I don't have gloss or anything on. They really feel nice. I did just do a little lip liner, very little, but it's really, really nice. Okay, so this is what my eye looks like. Do you see like if you put green or blue, or even if you put a purple right on your waterline, it doesn't have to match what your eyeshadow looks like. It will just bring your eyes out. Even if you have brown eyes, put some blue, Oh my God, blue looks beautiful on brown eyes, you know? I mean, you could even went in with like a nude color, you know? But I always like to brighten it up. I don't know. All right, so my thoughts very quickly, because I know this video is getting long because you know I'm a talker. So I really like this Lotus. I mean, I really do. I really haven't been, because when I think of Ofra, I don't think of eyeshadow palettes, right? But this is not bad to be honest with you it really isn't like i will definitely use it again and my eye look came out amazing you know
I've been definitely using this blush palette since I got this. I think I got this, what, in a BoxyCharm or something? I can't remember. And I've been using it. Love it. Um, I would I would definitely recommend getting this as well. I really, really do. And the highlighter. Now, this is a little, like, goldish, like, you know. But, and, 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 and she's blinding. If you like those blinding highlighters, you're going to like this. But I showed you how, if I used, if I would have used a different brush, and then, like I told you, showed you how to do this, you know, uh, you don't have to get it. You see how I like settled it down, but it's still very pretty. I love these. In another video, I will try these out, the powders out. Um, like I said, I just start talking and I don't want to make the videos like 30, 40 minutes, which is probably what this is going to be. And I definitely recommend these lipsticks so far. Like I said, I have other products that we'll try in a future video. But yes, I mean, there were no duds. I liked everything that I tried. Let me know if you try these products and what you think. Um, never forget to look at my description box, just in case there's codes or anything like that when I find things, sales, stuff like that. I always put it in my description box. And um. Yeah, that's everything. So the message I do want to say today, take care of your body because it's your body. And um, don't do what I do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. All right, guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God, and learn to work Put your makeup on and talk at the same time because every video that you do just to do your eyeshadow takes over 30 minutes and that's crazy. Come on. Nobody has hours to waste. Get it together.